Parliamentary immunity, also known as legislative immunity, is a system in which members of the parliament or legislature are granted partial immunity from prosecution, from statements made by them on the floor of the parliament, which immunity can only be removed by superior court of justice or by parliament itself. So here we are, immunity for impunity. In 2016, after the arraignment of the former Senate president for false declaration of assets, Nigerian National Assembly members already packaged the bill proposing immunity for principal members of the National Assembly on the ground that it is necessary and fair for the heads of National Assembly to have immunity from criminal prosecution, akin to the one enjoyed by members of the executive as prescribed in Section 308 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. The then minority leader of the House, Goswil Akpabio, even laughably proposed that all National Assembly members and House of Assembly members should be given immunity as, according to him, elected officials who are saddled with the responsibility of ensuring good governance should be allowed to carry out their function without any form of interference. I see you chuckle at the mention of good governance. You saw me laugh too. Despite the defeat suffered by the bill in the hands of the vociferous Nigerians, it has found its way back into the current assembly, having passed second reading in both chambers of the National Assembly. Yes, you heard me right. This is nothing but an attempt to confer immunity on all members of the National Assembly, while we are still grappling with immunity conferred on governors and presidents, some of whom have had to empty the state treasury into their personal pocket and have succeeded in turning the Senate into a retirement home for former governors. Why are they still discussing immunity for lawmakers when the leadership of the National Assembly is no longer under threat of prosecution, like it was under Saraki, and is firmly now under the grip of the executive? Why pretend to be, want to be at par with other arms of government when it's a notorious fact that judges only enjoy immunity from words uttered or written in the course of their job, which is akin to parliamentary immunity that National Assembly members already enjoy? Why, we're also aware that sometimes in 2016, judges' houses were raided at midnight by men of the DSS, State Security Service in Nigeria, and the seven chief judges of the Federation were subsequently removed from office in 2019 via an ex parte order, and judges didn't ask for immunity from prosecution. So why are our lawmakers suddenly thinking immunity again when despite the snail speed of our criminal justice system, we're beginning to see some of them who were former state governors behind bar, and more are preparing to, to, to join them. If you like, say Jolly Yame, Joshua Darier, Ojuz Okalu, and those that are preparing to follow. If you say Teodoji, you're your own. Are we not ashamed talking about parliamentary immunity when even international flights meant for our airports are being diverted to Ghana for lack of modern landing equipment? Anyway, our Minister for Aviation and asked airline operators to take advantage of insecurity in the country to make money from travelers. I weep for our ineptitude. Don't we have enough blood on our hands in the country? as some of our lawmakers can no longer travel to their constituency or even travel to perform oversight function? Is it not time for them to take drastic measures to improve the situation in the country, like even initiating impeachment proceedings against the president, rather than issuing or passing mere resolution to obtain immunity for themselves? Why do we like ridiculing our country this way in the eye of serious-minded nations of the world? Is it not bad enough that politicians, aided by senior lawyers, and now mocking our highest judicial institution, the Supreme Court, with a barrage of applications for review of cases long decided with a stamp of finality. Now we want to add another one, immunity for lawmakers. Soon we'll be asked to grant immunities to kidnappers, armed bandits, terrorists, and what have you. After all, we are told that repentant militants can enlist in the military now. Previously, we granted amnesty to militants, and now this new one is coming up despite us not being able to defeat the same Boko Haram for years now. Who calls this country safe? I would therefore advocate today that the idea of immunity for either arm of government should be completely jettisoned as it will open a floodgate for impunity, which is already ravaging the soul of this country. And Nigerians should be aware that if this bill is not opposed, official looting will someday become the norm in government that will wake up one day and realize that there was once a country called Nigeria. To them that have ears, let them hear. Otherwise, it will be to your tent, O ye Nigerians, very soon. <laughs> Whoa.
he just he just nailed it. No, I think you've so spoken me. the mind of a lot of Nigerians. But you know, my 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 worry with us having articulated all this. How can we further exercise our powers your, your as can, citizens? I can come in That's there. Where you, this that is was the good. same way. The same way we exercise our powers over the social media bill. You see, when it when it affects you in a particular way, you now find the way to exercise your power. Nigerians spoke up about that social media bill. There was never anywhere that nobody was putting hashtag hate speech. This one, where we were speaking up. Now, what I find even very interesting is that this. I haven't even heard. I did not know that this had come up oh, again. Really? I didn't know it had gone oh, into second that. reading. So thank you for mentioning it. Now I'm going to use my platform. I'm going to make enough noise. I want Nigerians to know because this is the most ridiculous thing I've heard to, to think that these people can like raid this country, destroy this country and then ask for immunity. The no. thing is, what are they wanting immunity for? They, they want to be protected. Well, you, you know that your hands are clean. You've done the right thing. What are you running away see, from? Some some why do we have our be... governors no, no, some running some to the Senate as you right now say? No, 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 no. no let me suggest to, to, to bring another side. <laughs> some are arguing that they want immunity in the event that they are tackling the, ex but we know it's the executive rubbish. and they want to come after them. Uh, no, she asked the question. No, he who comes there, put him on the with him. Clean hands. In the first place, they need it because no, no, they're no, trying no, to protect themselves be because, because they know. Even if your hands mm. are clean. She are not a witch, nobody will hunt you. Then all yeah, those in the civil service also should look for immunity yeah, yes. because if they are doing the right thing, then anybody can come for them too. So we all should just start immunity. more than anyone else. No, but the media has immunity. I think to answer that, maybe it could be distraction from their legislative duties, yes. like uh, yes. the last Senate president spent quite yeah. substantial no, time, you know, going to court okay. back and forth. Okay. If you look at it from done. that angle, so but yes, I honestly yeah, don't I mean, agree. I don't agree, it. but I mean, that's, that no, could be an ang no, angle that, to it. But the only know? people that should really have immunity, I think, should be like the president and maybe... They should not even No, have. they shouldn't, yeah, but I'm shouldn't. saying, if, if it means to try and get things done for the country, let those two have it. But for the rest, National Assembly, reps, and all that. Yeah. Like, no way. Before you come in, I wanted to just highlight the point that he made, which is even the immunity, because I believe he was reading with regards to the British parliamentary system. Mm. They have a, a sort of, you say, qualified immunity, which is to do with no, what even in Nigerian parliamentary now. system. So you don't need to enlarge it, it further. There, so there's that a parliamentary immunity not, act. Not prosecuting you entirely. No, any, yeah. Yeah. any words you utter on the floor of the chambers, you're, 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 you you're have covered. immunity. Mm, yes. uh, you know, that is you why. Can take you on for, and also, no, yeah, whatever in, you in say, just like a judge, you know, whatever a judge says while sitting on trial, he has immunity. But you know, they, but let me try and clarify with you. Are they, are they saying that now this immunity would cover, even if you wanted to look into maybe fraud? Yeah, that's what they're saying. So that's what they're saying. After, 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 after their tenure. Okay. That's what they're yeah, saying. I think, I think what we should speak up against is this trend of former governors running to the Senate asking for immunity. There's so much uh, to speak uh, up so against. You should, if you you should look for, we should be able to evaluate your performance. Mm -hmm. We should be able to say, you did this rightly, you did this wrongly. Can we have our money back, please? This is not uh, <laughs> looking right. Yes. Because what are you getting them. immunity There's for? There's only a limit to what you can keep on the front burner. If the governor enjoys immunity and then he gets to the National Assembly, mm. he's enjoying now immunity. Now wants immunity again. And then he's there for, there's no... Mm. There's, Eight years. No, no, it More can be than. there for eternity. Yeah. And, and so Life, there is a no, lifetime. Yeah, seat. lifetime. And so at the end of the day, that's why I said immunity for impunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. What you'll be gradually encouraging is that any governor, once you finish your tenure, you can still you as much as you run to the house Senate. House Senate. <laughs> Make sure you bulldoze your way there, like Ozekome will say, mm -hmm. and refuse to leave that place. You, you know, so that's why, you that's why it's do or die, isn't yeah. it? It's, that's, it's, why, it's, that's why it's, they, it's they fight suspicious. to keep moving it's, from one uh, form of government to the, the next. To the next. They know what they've done, and they don't want to be exposed. No, no, I mean, actually, the bottom, would, the bottom yeah. line, yeah. really, it's about, you know, uh, covering their... Their tracks. They yeah. Their tracks. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, but we permit this coverage of tracks as a people. If yes. we rise up to say no more, we don't want this anymore, and we rise up to say we don't want, and then it's going to be we don't want. Like yeah. yes. and I, I just want so to. So how do you, how do, you do that? If you're going to recall 
uh, a House of Reps <laughs> member, how long would it take? Yeah, no, no, it's, uh, don't even bother. But, but let me just, you quickly, understand? Let me These just are quickly, some of the powers we decide. should be able to. Yeah. Sorry, say, let me just quickly buttress before Libros rounds up. This is to say, look, yes, this is, because I was thinking in my head, why is this more important than all the other things? Buying cars and all these rubbish bills, they pass in their favor, you know, um, lifetime pensions. It is actually, because this is where you, you, you close the Check. door. Mm, yeah, yeah, because without yeah. this, the, the horse has bolted. Exactly. Mm. So that's why the purpose of sounding an alarm is that there should be some kind of remedial response. After the break, Uche asks, what is the value of the Nigerian life? Now, that sounds like a rhetorical question. I can't wait to hear Uche. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they want. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.